watermelon. Life is in my hand. It's alive. It's alive. Oh, I feel it. We will open portals together. Portals are meant to be open. Lines are meant to be broken. Destroy all boundaries so we can recreate new boundaries and destroy them too. Ted Auerbach, I'm a retired teacher, 27 years in the New York City public schools. I would emphasize one or two things. One is the inequality in the society, the fact that 1% of the population controls 40% of the wealth, the fact that 400 families have more wealth than 150 million people in this country. I think that's so obscene and horrible. And this is, and what can be done with that money? That's, to me, the, one of the main important uh, points. We need a tax, tax the rich, end the wars, 4.4 billion dollars in the last 10 years. Who the hell do you think you are? All right? We got every right to be here! You said you didn't pay. Hey, you said you didn't the other one is getting better. Listen, you said you didn't have a right. You're the kind of crap that they don't need. Yeah, you don't right. intimidate me. You, you serve in Vietnam. You give me a little bit. I wasn't in the military. I was not in the military. I'm going to watch you talk. Yeah, well, guess what? You screwed me over. I'm going to invest. 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 I'm going to
random people, uh, people who are sympathetic to what's going on, people who are part of what's going on. I would say that politics, political philosophy, history, economics are probably the books that people are most interested in. As the movement has grown, as the occupation has grown, um, the number of books has grown, and as that has increased, so have the number of people working actively on um, the library workers. protesting police brutality. Uh, the police department uh, in league with Wall Street is really trying to crush this movement through intimidation, but they're being paid directly by the banks and answerable to their paymasters. And we see that Bloomberg, while he's trying to play the nice guy, on one hand is allowing the cops a free reign. about three years ago when my boyfriend was abusing me, now my ex-boyfriend. Um, when I went to the cops, they basically were like, well, why'd you answer the door? Well, why don't you just stop answering the phone calls? And they basically dismissed me. I took it to court and I had three dismissed cases. Finally, on the fourth case, uh, he was convicted and he received just six months in prison for what he's done. He's currently abusing his new girlfriend right now. When you're laughing, that old sun comes shining through. Who have brutalized, brutalized uh, protesters, uh, sprayed with pepper spray, innocent, peaceful protesters. And I've been on many protests, and I haven't heard one a witness say that the protesters were being violent. it's really disturbing because they didn't have time for me then but when I'm out here fighting for my rights they were right there to arrest me and try to throw me down on the floor on my face and put me in the back of a police van with no air with 16 other people we couldn't breathe we had no water it was disgusting in all the communities uniting to fight police brutality. And the only way to finally defeat police brutality is to change this government. And I really think it's a great injustice what's happening right now. So I'm out here and I'm willing to share my story with anybody who wants to listen because they need to know what's going on. This is not right. Dan Levinson on the clarinet. Don't fight for me. Who's on base? Tim Ferguson on the base. Tim Ferguson. This was done by research by a U.S. company, but since they couldn't patent the fruit, because it's natural stuff, they decided to kill the whole experiment. You know what company? Uh, I really don't what know, but right. you could Google that. Gabriola, you said? Gabriola. Okay, I'll look Gabriola. it up. I'll look it up. Yeah, it's 10,000 10, times stronger to kill people, uh, yeah. cancer cells than chemotherapy. I have a book on that subject, by so, hey, but I don't think she mentions that. I don't think she mentions well, that, that. Now we did. Yeah. Well, now I you, I you take this, yeah. this one, oh. put it in your pocket, and well, take it well, away. I'll mention it. Thank spread you. the word, please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice Email day. everybody about the graviola. Thank you. We don't need chemotherapy. The only reason they make chemotherapy is to make us sick.
I was a big supporter from the beginning. I, I always liked what they were doing. Uh, I, I think it's an understated problem. I think that we're underscoring it perfectly by having people across the nation protest it. At the very least, I'm hoping that we can raise awareness to the subject and put it on the table. We're talking about a lot of issues that are just, I mean, whether or not, what, what love is and who can, who can be married and, and all those things. When we have a lot of problems on our hand, economically speaking, that should just trump all that. So I'm, I'm for getting our things back together and I think a lot of that is get the corporations out of the government, period. There's, there's no way of, there's no way of moving forward without, we need to remove the, the one from the other. I'm not high. Yeah, high. Hey, let's give this one a hug. Oh, yeah. yeah, I just hugged it on and it's awesome. Has its causes and motivations. Every revolution has its causes and motivations. For Egypt, it was poor corruption and uh, dictatorship. For Egypt, it was poor corruption and dictatorship. Facebook and Twitter, Facebook and Twitter was just a tool. Was just a tool. Without Facebook and Twitter, without Facebook and Twitter, our revolution could be delayed. Our revolution could be delayed. But it will happen no matter what. And it will happen no matter what. There was more than one organization. There was an office representing each movement. And every movement had their own process of making decisions. That doesn't interfere with other movements. That doesn't interfere with other movements. stuff like this. So no, I would not accept signing any kind of, of uh, negotiation or, or signing any kind of agreement with the city. No, we should just, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work.